This photo manipulation looks really cool and it's pretty simple to create. And today you will learn how I create it and you will learn some really cool tips and tricks along. So to start, let me say that I took a photo of this skull right here. Hello guys. And uh, I used some really cool lights to light the skull. And I will do the review of that light next week. And then I just put it in Photoshop, so let me show you the rest. This is the photo that I took and obviously the first thing that we need to do is to extract the skull out of the background. We can use pen tool, we can use quick selection tool, whatever we want. And I already did this to save the time for this tutorial and now the fun starts. So after this, I use this photo of some lava. It's a pretty cool photo and I really like it. And uh, this is from Envato Elements, which is, by the way, the sponsor for today's episode. And also, if you don't have a skull to take a photo of and you don't have a lights and everything else, you can go to Envato Elements and download the 3D model of the skull and rotate it and position it however you want and then repaint the light in Photoshop. I have a really cool tutorial how to repaint the light. You can check in our link right there. And in case you don't know, Envato Elements is an amazing website where you can find all the elements for basically any projects that you are creating. They have millions of stock photos, stock videos, audio files, sound effects. My favorite part that I already mentioned is that 3D models, huge library of 3D models that you can use for your composite. And the beautiful thing about 3D models is that you can rotate them and position them in a proper position that you need for your composites. And also plenty more things like intros, outros for Premiere Pro, After Effects, Final Cut Pro, DaVinci Resolve, and so on and so forth. Bunch of cool fonts. And you can check everything on the link down there in the description. Really cool thing is that the Envato Elements is pretty affordable. The annual plan is just $16.5 per month. And you have unlimited downloads. And also everything is licensed, so you don't need to worry about licensing. So check out the link down there in the description. See Envato Elements and uh, enjoy the content there. I'm using them a lot. All right, now let's go back here to the lava. So uh, the thing that we need to do with lava is the idea actually for this photo manipulation is that I want to make this skeleton skull like it's submerged a little bit into the lava. And here obviously you can see that there's not as much lava as we wanted. So we need to figure out how to change this into lava. Basically we need to paint everything into different color, into reddish and uh, this yellowish bright tone. So how to do that? Well, one of the things is that, wait, let's go right here. One of the thing is that I can go and use, let me show you, we can create a new layer and we can put in maybe color dodge blending mode and then we can use, let me see, some darker red tone and 100% and, and, and opacity and let's see, some, some darker like that and we can just paint. And this is pretty cool, but mm, 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 it's not, right thing to do. So what I like to do, I want to use gradient map and here this is much better, but I need to change this. So I want this to be black. Okay. Then I want the brightest part to be not completely, wait, this is black. The brightest part, not completely white, but I want something bright yellow, something like, like this. Okay. Then I want somewhere here, this to be red, but darker red, something like pretty dark red. Then here I want to go with a little bit more orange tones and brighter. And maybe here a little bit more towards the, towards the um, yellow. So this looks cool, but we need, oops, don't do that. So we need to move this a little bit to the left. And now we have that tone that we wanted. Maybe this a little bit to the left. And this is really, really cool. So let's say this is okay. And I don't want to use it everywhere. So another trick is to go and create another layer. And let's name this color. Why not? And here, if I just use black and white tones, let me see if I paint with the white, everything that is bright and 100% bright, it will be the brightest tone that we created. So this tone right here. So I can choose the amount of pressure that I'm using with pen. Or if you're using just the mouse, you can go here and choose the opacity and just uh, with the opacity control the practically the brightness of this. So this is one way and I will use that way. So I will go with the skeleton, create a layer mask 
and with a little bit harder brush let's see cut this part off and let's make impression that it's submerged like this okay why not so you can do it however you want it's completely optional and now let's see where I want to move the head so I can move it somewhere here somewhere there but, 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 but. but something like this is cool okay and obviously here because the light is orange all the way here this is the hottest part we need to make lava to be hotter like like this and the beauty of this is that even if you make a mess and do whatever you want you can fix it by painting with black so you can paint it back also let me show you one more trick is to go and use either exposure or curves adjustment layer and with this you can control the brightness of already uh, existing lava there so we can use that curves or exposure so let's hide the curves and see we can use this why not and now we invert control command i invert and with white color we can just paint like that and this is really cool too so let's let's see it's pretty bright and here will be less bright and now what i will do i will just fast forward this and basically i will just paint so also let me show you here before we do that i can go here and paint with the black if i paint with the black i will just cover everything in black so if i need to introduce somewhere a little bit of darkness this is really cool way to do it okay so i will fast forward basically what i will do i will just paint with the black a little bit paint with the exposure and that's it okay so this is not bad but we need to do a few more things and also i see that the perspective is a little bit off so it looks like now the skull is a little bit tilted towards the background and that's cool per perfectly okay because it's submerged in lava but i want to fix that so for that we'll go to lava background control command t and just just move this down so see and then if you move it back up now the perspective looks a bit better and this is what we want to achieve here something like maybe even more down so like that this looks pretty cool and now because we did that and i painted here the exposure i need to repaint a few things uh, for example this it's a little bit off and again i will now fast forward and fix these things so paint again a few things brighter a few things darker and so on and so forth but basically it's just painting <music> okay so this is pretty decent i want to emphasize these like ripples and for that i will go with another layer and just paint with white and that's it so basically everything here is really really simple really easy the only thing that is a little bit like mm, not so tough but the only thing is you need the time so it's a bit time consuming but this is really simple to create you, you you can't go wrong with anything here you can just this is really cool for practicing so just practice experiment and and i'm rushing a little bit because of the time sake for this tutorial but this is pretty cool so let me show you one more time uh before everything so this is original lava and i pretty much like it but uh after we did a color uh color grading we turn everything into red then we paint few things with uh, exposure and regular layer and also darkened uh, other parts around so now what i want to do i want to add a little bit more of the bluish thing here and for that we can do few things we can go and uh, 
let's just clean up the layers. So this right here is the red. Okay, and then we'll go with the blue. And for the blue, I will choose this color and see if this will work for us or we need to or we need to change the color. That's the least problem here. So this looks pretty good. And now we'll go with hue and saturation adjustment layer, clip it to affect only that color and see? Perfect. And also what we can do with the skull here, we can go and uh, right click, convert to smart object, and then go to filter camera. Okay, and we can we can go like this, we can go with hue and saturation adjustment layer, it doesn't matter how we want. And what I want to do here is color mixer and go with the blue and go with the saturation and just desaturate the blue a bit. So let's see, like that. So we can go here and desaturate this blue too. Maybe it's, it's too much. Okay, so this is one thing. Another thing is that we can go here to the red and let's see. Uh, no. Forget it, I said anything. What I want to do here is to go uh, create a new layer, fill it with shift and backspace and 50% gray and uh, go to, uh, to filter, noise, and I want to add a noise. So add a noise and let's see, maybe, maybe 5%, let's see, 5% Gaussian and monochromatic, yeah. Monochromatic Gaussian, maybe a little bit less, two or three percent. Let's go with a three and just go with soft light, blending mode. And it's a little bit better just to help here with, see this bending here, crazy bending, because, because this is 8-bit file and it's a little bit better, I don't know for YouTube compression how it looks, but what I also want to do here is to Make this a little bit darker, I see now a few things here and there. Okay, and if I go right here and create a new layer about the skeleton, again with the blue, and I can just, see, make something like this. But this time, shift, uh, sorry, control command U, I want really less blue like that and also what I can do, I can create a smoke. So a new layer, smoke, this is my custom made cloud dust smoke brush that you can get on my website if you want. And also I can add some smoke here, some really bright smoke around, why not, you know, this is too hot, a little bit red, just, just like that. Okay. Maybe a little bit. Let's see. A bit brighter. And this is not bad. Also, we can. Let's see if I put this into color dodge, mm, linear dodge blending mode and lower the opacity. Yeah, like that. And also here we can go create a layer and use the black color and just 100% opacity. I can use this to make like more like uh, not so straight edges. So just play with the smoke brush and play with the edges. So this looks pretty cool already. So I'm really happy. We can do much more here, but for now I will leave it like, like that. And uh, also what we can do is, 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 let's see, this is blue light. Here I can go over, yeah, over the skull, like that. Like it's hitting right there. And also maybe 10% opacity and just go around here. Uh, let's see this one. This is smoke. This is smoke layer. I don't want this. I just want to change the name. Okay. Not bad. 
even better but I want to add a layer mask and cut off this a little bit just a little bit here I'm really rushing guys I don't want to take too much time of yours but sometimes you cannot go so fast basically photo manipulations takes time so you need to invest a little bit of time so let's see this is not bad and here what we can do we can go and create like like let's see 50 percent 60 percent and oops no let's i'm trying to see if i can make some god rays here and like using different brush click shift click mm, of course we need less harder brush this is too big maybe 40 percent opacity let's see <laughs> this is i'm testing i'm doing this first time so i didn't try this before this is what you're seeing is me doing this first time ever so not bad not bad but like that maybe maybe like that let's see maybe one a little bit wider and now if i blur the mask so i can feather the mask see what we are having here without blur with a blur a little bit different then we can add some kind of dust here dust particles etc but i will not do that now uh, I'm pretty happy with the result. Also, I want to go to the skeleton here, skull, and the clip to affect only the skull. And here I want to go with linear dodge, and I want to emphasize the with regular brush here. I want to emphasize the highlights. So this can take time if you want to make it nice and precise but obviously for the time sake of this tutorial i won't do as good as i would probably do it on my own own time here but let's see not a bad a little bit brightness here a little bit brightness here and uh, before and after I really like it and also what we can do we can go all the way up and if we want to add a little bit more blue again there's so many ways so let's see if we can we want to add a little more blue tint here invert and just paint this with the blue mm -hmm no no i don't like it so remove that this is pretty cool and i think this is this is the end of showing you how to do this what i will also do here i can go to windows and uh, extensions and oniric because i love this plugin and let's add let's add a glow again if you don't have this plugin you can add a glow manually using some of my techniques that i already show check out the video right here and uh, with the Eric, this looks amazing. Oops, oops, let's unzoom. I always like to work a little bit smaller with a little smaller image. So, threshold, boost it a bit. This is amazing. So, if we add color, I don't want to add a color. Save, G for glow, and okay, perfect. So, before and after i really like it and also i can go and say hue and saturation adjustment layer clip it affect the glow and we can colorize it colorize the glow i'm i'm just looking this part right here so let me zoom in just looking this part if i want to colorize if i want to colorize this part a bit so invert control command i and just paint paint here uh, let's see did I paint it something yeah so now if I move you can see 
colorized it a little bit so maybe like this maybe why not right and that's it shift control t or shift command option e right click convert to smart object go to filter go to camera filter and let's do a final color grading here final touch so i will go a little bit with the contrast okay we can open the shadows a bit if we want but this is pretty good contrasty maybe like that highlights hmm not bad not bad let's see whites if we go with the whites a little bit up and the highlights a little bit down this is a good combo also clarity a bit and uh, texture uh, we can leave this like that the saturation and vibrance are really good here uh, also we can add a little bit of the sharpness let's see the masking something like this and also we can add a little bit of vignette even more if we want and if we go to calibration we can change the tones a little bit another option here why not and we can change the saturation let's see mm, no maybe just a little bit of this blue and before and after yeah pretty cool difference and let's see just here if we add a little bit more warmth like this no like this even worse so don't don't touch it and press ok and this is it I really really like it so again let me show you this is before this is after and we started with the skull right here why the skull is transparent only ah because of that okay so, so we have transparent skull here nobody knows don't tell anybody okay so we started with this skull and started with this lava background and just with these two things and layers in between that you already uh, saw you know what they're doing to the image uh, you can create this really really cool photo manipulation also you can download this psd file if you're a member of my patreon uh, supporter so you have the link down there in the description and you can see all the elements here uh, separately and it's easier for you when you're learning it's easier to watch at this you can also check my previous tutorial it's another skull and another really cool magic effect in photoshop that is really easy to create you can check it right there see you next week in next fun video bye bye